Hello friends, in the previous video, we install our LifeRay and connect it to MySQL. So this is the database which we are using in our LifeRay and the properties for the database is used in Portal EXT. So in this video, we create a new workspace and create first portlet and show how we can use the LifeRay. So for this, let me just create a new workspace. So you need to select this LifeRay workspace project. So for the first time, it will take some time. So after this, you can give the name like and here you can select Gradle or Maven. So for now I'm using Gradle and this is the version of our LifeRay and click finish. So now as you can see it is created. So in the directory structure. So this is our Eclipse workspace and in this we have LifeRay workspace. So in the workspace of Eclipse you can create only one LifeRay workspace. So let me try to create one more. So as you can see, a LifeRay workspace project already exists in the Eclipse instance. So only one LifeRay workspace is created. So now let's open this. So we have this module, we have themes, we have wars, we have this Gradle properties and we have this dev, local, production and UAT, each environment. So now just create a simple module right click new and lifeway module project so let me give the name as demo and currently it's building the workspace next and keep it as same or you want to like write the name package name and click on finish so now as you can see in the modules we have our demo and in the directory structure, this is our library workspace and this is the module and in the module we have this demo. So if you want you can click on this project presentations and click on this flat. So when you click on this flat, so this module and this demo is outside from this. So now we can easily manage this. So let's check all the files which is created by LifeRay. So this is our keys. This is our demo portlet which contain all the category, CSS, language, all the things. So if you want you can change this. Now let's click on this language dot properties. So it contain the language properties file. And in this we have this language dot properties and this view dot JSP. So this is our view dot JSP which take the key from language dot properties. This is demo caption. So let's change it. So now this is used in this and in our demo portlet, let me just create one do view method.
एंड प्रिंट सम सिंपल स्टेटमेंट सो नाउ अवर बेसिक मॉड्यूल इज क्रिएटेड इन द वर्क स्पेस सो लेट्स डिप्लॉय दिस so for deploying this you need to open modules so this is our demo module in the right hand side and this is our build and just click on this deploy so now as you can see build successfully so now for deploying this let's open the workspace demo so this is our library this is the workspace in this open this bundles ogi modules and this is our jar so just copy this jar and paste in the deploy folder of tomcat so now i am pasting this so now on the console a message is processing and now our com.demo is started so refresh the page so let me sign in so let me just remove this web content and now click on this add button so now click on this widgets and search for demo so it is available in sample category so now our portlet is deployed successfully and on the console we have this message so there is another way for doing this deployment so that you don't want to copy and paste the things so just select this module and drag it to your tomcat so now it is available here so now let's just change something so now when i click on control s or save this file so it automatically deployed so now i save this file so as you can see on the console it's again started so now i need to just refresh this and you can see the logs let me clean this and now again change something and just save and it's again deployed so this is the easiest way just refresh and look the message is again printed so uh, that's it in this video so in this video we create a simple life free workspace which is created only once in a eclipse workspace and then create a simple module demo and try to deploy it by using the jar in our deploy folder and also by adding this to our server so in the next video we try to create some services and then call the services from this portlet so thanks for watching if you like the video you can hit the like button share the video and don't forget to subscribe